What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there this evening. I'm doing good myself. Um, yeah, it says here, Alabama governor approves chemical castration for some child sex offenders. Wow. Well, you know, they, you know, uh, I don't understand why some get it and not all. But that's a good thing right there, as far as I'm concerned, because... You know, in the Father's Word, it says in Luke chapter 17, verse 2, it will be better for a man, you understand, to actually hang a millstone around his neck, you know, and uh, throw himself into the sea, basically. That's what it says if you cause one of, you know, these little ones who believe in me to sin. You understand? In other words, if you go and see a child that don't know anything about sex and you some grown ass man or woman you understand and decide you want to go out here and put your hands on that child sexually you understand so basically um child molesters child molestation is actually punishable by death anyway and that's what they should get but in this situation right here whew, i'll tell you castration that's just as well as far as i'm concerned you know okay this was in Montgom montgomery alabama Alabama Governor Kay Ivey has signed into law legislation that will require certain sex offenders to be chemically castrated before their parole. Mm. Governor Kay Ivey's press office said Monday that she had signed the bill, which is to take effect later this year. The measure applies to sex offenders convicted of certain crimes involving children Younger than 13. Okay, they see chemical castration. So, you know, from the way it sounds, it sounds as though they're talking about a man. But what about women who uh, molest children? What do you do with them? That's what I like to know. You know, does this stuff work on women? Because there a lot of there's women molesters too. You know, but chemical castration involves injection. A medication that blocks testosterone production. Under the measure, certain offenders must receive the medication before they are paroled from prison. A judge would decide when the medication could be stopped. Several states have authorized chemical castration, but it's unclear how often it's used. Some legal groups have raised concerns about use of force medication <laughs> boy always coming up with some crap you understand and it goes on to say here R republican representative steve hurst had a prepared well proposed excuse me people the measure for more than a decade so he's been trying to get this going on for over 10 years now you know what i mean damn shame but as far as i'm concerned that's all right you know but Let's let's look at it this way. Even if they castrated these uh, filthy low lives that would decide to touch a child, you understand? They should cut their hands off too, because I'm gonna tell you, I think it's all about the allure and the pleasure of just them being able to just touch a child. You understand? I don't think castrating will actually stop them. You know, but it's one of these situations. I guess we'll find out. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.